Hello and welcome to the final segment of Professor Reagan's English 101 um, review of some of the library resources. So we looked at Encyclopedia Britannica and Gale Virtual Reference Library. The last item that I want to show you is actually getting into our library catalog. So this is going to contain the books and movies that we have at the library that you can check out with your ID card, but there are also online books and streaming videos. So if you're taking the class remotely and you're not able to come to one of the physical campuses, you can still find good stuff using the CAC library. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into finding the catalog and then finding information in the catalog. Okay, so there are two ways to access the catalog. Okay, if you're still in Blackboard, on the library page, okay, you can see that there's a link here for the online catalog included with the databases. Okay, it's available from the screen here, also on the left hand side. Okay, but be aware that the catalog isn't actually a database. You don't have to go through Blackboard to get to the library catalog to see what books we have. So let me also show you from the CAC homepage. So here we are at the CAC homepage. If you have links across the top for webmail and Blackboard on your page, it also has a link to the library. We'll click here. Okay. And then you click, click here on the stack of books and media in the library. Again, things that you can check out, but also the online resources. And in Blackboard, if you click online catalog here or here, it will take you to this same page. Okay. So you can see we're going to be looking at all of the CAC locations and all different types of materials. So it's a pretty big search. Okay. So once again, plug in what it is that you're looking for. I am going to use the search intelligence. Okay. Notice that, yeah, we're probably going to get some interesting stuff again. Okay. Because it's listing the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency and artificial intelligence is some of the searches that we can do. Okay. So I'll click go. Whoa, okay, over 2,000 items come up that mention the word intelligence. So this is looking anywhere in the title, the author, the book chapters, the subject, anything that kind of mentions intelligence shows up on this list, okay? So sometimes you need to actually narrow this down a little bit. What I'm going to do is include another word. I want to talk about human intelligence, not really animals, not artificial intelligence, not military intelligence, but kind of what makes people smart, okay? So it's going to now look for anything that has both of those words, human and intelligence. Cool. And you'll see that we actually came across a smaller number now, 520, which is a lot more easy to manage. Okay. It's still a lot to look through though. So you do have some options over here on the right hand side to start narrowing this down and make this more manageable. One of my favorite ones is to actually scroll down here and use subjects. So again, keyword up here, anything that mentions the word human and mentions intelligence is going to show up on the list. When we use subjects, these are the main topics and main ideas um, of the books or movies that we're looking at. So the first few things aren't really quite what I'm looking for. I can click more. So we have 27 things that talk about the idea of intellect, okay? 17 that talk about cognition and understanding. So when I click these or brain, like if I want to talk about like actually how the, how the human mind works, how the brain works, I can click there. So selecting one of these will actually bring me down to 27 items to look through instead of 520. And they're all going to be on the topic that I'm actually looking for. Okay. So here we see intelligence under the microscope. This image here means that it's a streaming video. When you see two globes like this, it means that it's an online resource. Okay, In this case, it's an online video. If you're on a CAC campus, you can click here and go right into the video to be able to watch it. If you're off campus, this tells you you have to log in through Blackboard. We've already got that down. So you log into Blackboard and in the articles and databases, this one's going to be under Films on Demand. Let me go ahead and narrow this down a little bit more as well. So I'm the librarian at the SMC campus in Apache Junction. So I can actually come down here on the right hand side and also limit it to a particular location. So if you're closer to one of the campuses than one than the others, you can actually put a check mark here and say, just show me the things at my campus, Central Arizona College, Superstition Mountain. I'll put a check mark and now it's going to remove everything from the list that's at a different location. 
So now I actually have two books that look really promising, okay? Intelligence 101 and The Thinking Ape, Evolutionary Origins of Intelligence. This one's from 1995, so I'm going to look at the 2014 one just to see what it's about, okay? If you click full display, it'll give you a longer explanation, but this gives you some of the basic information. If I'm sold already, I can actually click here, Availability. This tells me the campus where I'm going to find the book, Superstition Mountain Campus. The status is in, which means it should be on the shelf. It's a book, okay? And this is the call number. If I go to look for this book on the shelf, this tells me where I'm going to find it. We use the Library of, call num or the Library of Congress call number system, okay? We start looking for things alphabetically and then numerically. If you come to the library with this, um, with this call number in hand, we can help you look for it. And the easiest way to record that call number is using this little icon right here. This is actually a cell phone that lets you text all that information to yourself. So you just put in your phone number and whoever your provider is and hit the send button and it will actually text you the name of the book, the call number, the author, all that kind of good information so that you can have that handy and just stop in to visit the library between classes will help you locate that book. Um, if the, let me go back to availability, um, if it turns out that the book that you're looking for or the movie is not at your campus, you can also request it. So let me close this out, place request here. This is actually tied to the barcode that's on your ID card, okay? And the password is the last four numbers of your phone number. If you want to request something and it doesn't work, just call the library. Um, the information will be on uh, a slide at the end of the slideshow here. And we'll make sure that you're properly set up and that you've got the barcode number to use um, so that you've got all your good information. Okay. I also want to show you if you're somebody that's attending remotely or maybe you don't want to have to make the drive in to come to the campus, okay, you can use all formats here. So sometimes if I know that I want a book that I can check out, I'll use this CAC books option, okay. You can also limit it to movies that you can check out, okay. Those books check out for 21 days, DVDs check out for 10 days. But if you are not taking classes here in person, you can also say, I'd really rather see an online ebook or an online streaming video. And you can use these to go ahead and um, make sure that what you're finding are actually those online resources that are gonna be easier for you to access, okay? So now it's done in uh, human intelligence eBooks, but it kind of forgot that we were looking for particular subjects. So we'll have to go in and click again that maybe we're looking for intelligence. And in this case, because there isn't a book to check out, you don't need to worry about this assigned branch part. Um, again, like with the videos, you get the title of the book. If you're on campus, you can click straight in and start reading the book if you're off campus. This is actually included in a different database called eBook Collection EBSCO. So you can uh, log into the library resources, go to the articles and databases, eBook Collection EBSCO, and then just look for this particular title if that's something that looks like it would be helpful to you. Okay. Um, if you have any questions about looking for information in the library catalog, uh, which we also call Polaris, uh, feel free to go ahead and contact any of the libraries. There's Aravipa, Santan, SMC, which is a Superstition Mountain here in, um, in Apache Junction, the Signal Peak Campus, or Maricopa. Thank you so much.